Welcome back. In this video, we are going to begin creating content in our classes. We'll learn how to make announcements on the stream, as well as creating assignments under the Classwork tab. Let's begin on the Stream tab of one of my classes. In this box here, if I click into it, I have the ability to post something to my stream. The stream, for most people, will be used for announcements to students. You can give them updates, you can share something interesting with them that isn't necessarily an assignment. So the stream is really like a kind of like a news feed for the students. Again, if you chose to disable the um, notifications for classwork in your settings on the stream, then all of your classwork will be kept on the classwork tab and students won't see anything about assignments on the stream. It's up to you if you choose to use that or not. So if I wanted to post a quick update, I can type into this box. I could attach files from Google Drive, or I could attach links to different websites that I might want students to check out, or a YouTube video. You could do all this in the Classwork tab as well. But again, if you want one of those in kind of an announcement format, you could do that here. You could post to just specific students, or all students. I don't have anybody joined in this class right now, but I would be seeing a list of my students here. This is a great way to differentiate um, messaging or assignments to students. When I post it, it appears on the stream, and students will see that with the most recent post on the stream first when they um, access your classroom. In the Classwork tab, this is where you're gonna focus on creating assignments for your students. I'll go through the different settings here, the different options in the Create menu, so you know what is available to you. When you click Create, there's a few different things you can do. An assignment is just like it sounds. Um, you can attach documents for students to work on. You can give them specific tasks. You could assign point values to it if you wish. You can attach various um, activities or, or materials to it. I'll show you this more in a moment. A quiz assignment actually adds a Google form that could be treated like a quiz if you wanted to do some sort of assessment, formative or summative. A question will pose a question to the, to the class and students can respond in that question, almost like a little discussion thread. A material is really just something for students to access, but that doesn't accept submissions. And finally, reuse post is something that you can use if you wanted to take something you've created and post it to another one of your classes, for example, you could do that. It basically allows you to not have to create something again that you've already created. The topic feature in this create menu is handy for giving some structure and organization to your classwork page. So it's a way to sort of give headers and organize the different assignments you're creating. So pretend I was in my reading class Maybe I wanted to create a vocabulary topic. And I can, I can put assignments underneath this vocabulary header so that it's easier to browse. And I could do different topics based on my different needs. And when I create assignments, I'm just gonna quickly click into create assignment. I can select the topic that it lives under and it would actually show up under that header on the classwork page totally optional, but a nice way to organize your classwork so students can browse it. So let's look a little closer at the assignment creation screen. I click the blue create button on the classwork tab, go down to assignment. Here I can give it a title, give detailed instructions so students know what they're, um, know what's expected of them. I can attach resources like I mentioned on the stream as well. So you could do Google Drive files, links to external websites. You can actually upload and attach documents or link a YouTube video. And you could actually do multiples of these and a combination of them. This create button gives you easy access to create a new Google document. So you could do docs, slides, sheets, drawings, or forms. It'll actually create it within here, link it to the assignment, and open a blank document in a new tab, which you can then edit and provide to your students for reference or for use in their assignment. One of my favorite features of Google Classroom 
is the sort of virtual photocopying um, aspect. So when you attach a Google Doc, and it could be through this Create menu or from the Add menu here, you're then given some options. Students can view it, and they literally can just look at it, no editing. If you wanted students to collaboratively edit the same copy of a document, so maybe you wanted a group brainstorming sort of thing, and all students can edit that file, you can get permission to do that. But the make a copy for each student will actually take your original document and then give each student their own copy of that Google Doc for their own editing. So they're not in the same um, exact document as another student. They're editing their own work. This is great if you have some sort of template that you want students to work off of. You can attach it here and then make a copy for each student. It truly is like making a photocopy of that file. So that's a really, really handy feature um, from within the assignment screen. Here you can decide what classes you want to post it to. You can differentiate if you wish and assign to only certain students or check all students. If you are working with points and grades on here, you can assign that here or just simply go to ungrade it and worry about that later. Your due dates and times can be set here. If you are using the topic feature to organize your classwork page, that is where you can choose what topic it'll be nested under. You actually can create um, rubrics as well, which is really handy. When you're done creating your assignment, click assign and it'll show up in that classwork page and your stream if you chose to include the summaries of classwork in your stream as well. In our next video, we'll take a look at how to view student work submissions and how to give a little bit of feedback to students once they have submitted their work.